Hello everybody and welcome back to our tutorial. The first thing that I want to take care of today is actually uh, to do with defenses. Um, I will dismantle this setup over here as we do have the more efficient setup. On the other floor. Let's get rid of most of the things here. And what's that's what's happening here. There was still a belt that I didn't properly set up. It happens. Uh, cliff explosives, I'm good on cliff explosives. I have laser turrets. Personal logistics is off, that's good. And I want to get a few more walls as well. I think I'm good on bots. This is still going on well. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so... I think that this will become an issue much sooner than I was hoping for, but I do need to go reinforce all the corners of our defense. rid of all the junk in my inventory mm, I think that's it and I will start with this corner Let's see, how do I want to handle this? I think I have plenty of turrets and uh, power to be a bit more um, generous with the number of turrets. Okay, let's use this as a unit, and this should allow me to have slightly more power, firepower in these corners where biters are bound to, to pile up. Actually, these ones are fairly good as well, so I'll keep those too. I did do a bit of practice on this map in between episodes. And yeah, basically I realized that I was hoping to be able to put all the build down until the pollution spreads so far that it becomes unmanageable. But as it turns out, it will become an issue way faster than I hoped it would be. So yeah, I just need to put a set of reinforcements down. I don't really like to complicate things with more, anything more than uh, laser turrets. 
I am thinking that I could place down. Uh, let's go a bit further out here. I could place down. What's happening there? Oh, that. Um, that one was off. And I do want those turrets too. So let's uh, let's reclaim just a bit more space here. So it should be over there. I am thinking of putting artillery. Well, artillery is something that is a must because eventually they will spawn bases right outside of my turret range and uh, those big worms are a real problem how am i doing on turrets um well that's how i'm out And I need to secure one, two, three, four, five more corners. How many turrets do I have here? 160. So that times five is about 700 turrets. A few more that I'm missing on the other side. So I'll stick to 750 for now. I should have a healthy, healthy-ish supply of turrets. 400. I'll go to 400 as I'm um, going back past the base. I'll um, I'll pop in to get some more. Now, one of the things that I would really love to have some control over is the number of logistic things that a bot can carry. I do not want bots to, when they go out to repair something. Uh, this one, no, this one I've already fixed. When bots go out to repair something, I do not want them to take like, I don't know what the current stack size is. Bonuses, robots. Where's my bots? Cargo capacity plus 8. So when a bot dies, it loses 9 repair packs. That's just... I could bring repair packs using the warp loaders, and I probably will have to. Now over here, it is a bit different. I will just um, I will just uh, reinforce everything. What what's happening here? Oh, there's still water there. There's still water there too. Is it water? Yep. Uh, there was some water left there. So about this much, I do want to... Extend the wall line, though. And, well, since I'm here... Give a, a few extra repair packs. Although that's not the one that I really need to worry about. The um, big segment that I am a bit worried about is the next one. And having just one big logistic network is a bit of a concern. Let's make sure I don't 
overdo this. In my in my test, this was a huge problem. This corner. I'm already out of turrets. So I have to reinforce three more corners. Let's go for a resupply. Really? I managed to pick them up faster than the rockets travel there? And... Well, just... Um, where am I heading? Way off. I should have headed straight down. Um, in today's episode, the main focus is gonna be on trains. And I will uh, walk you guys through how this... Okay, that's not good. I am running low on steel probably again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, steel is going to be something else. What's happening to you here? Okay, I will put these ones back. Maybe that will take care of the issue, hopefully. Oh yeah, that actually worked. So I am going to be using the entirety or almost the entirety of the factory for this build. I should have also grabbed Um, should have grabbed the this is a bit too far away but I'll put it like this uh, the landfill and well because I will be using the boiler floors for smelting Uh, so the, the idea is every smelting will happen outside of the beacon coverage area. Everything else will happen inside of the beacon coverage area. And because I cannot use, as I originally planned, the warp loaders because of the throughput limitation, I will need to um, I will need to use bots because belts would take up just way too much space. Uh, damage, damage is not a big problem. Although I do need to remove this cliff and forest there because biters always get stuck. So I will take advantage of the way the train mechanics work in this game and uh, let's see, yeah, try to try to get some resources um, on the factory floor is le by leveraging train mechanics, leveraging how the trains um, how the trains behave you know and this is something that is specific to Warptorio I want to point out that's one. Now I have only 50 turrets left. I said that this is 150. I will cut a few from this side and just a few from this side. I don't want to make another trip. I 
I did realize that I have the warp strider already put somewhere else. Where is that problem point? It is over here. So as long as I don't have to deal with corners, I think that um, the game behaves fairly well. Uh, that really 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 hate that but yeah when you um when old biters gather at a corner around the lake or something like that it the choke points become uh, extremely unmanageable Oh, that's me doing what I'm doing now. I think I valued the one there more. And then let's see what else we can squeeze in here. I'm happy with this. I don't think I need more. Oh, so this should take care of our defenses at least for a while. At some point I will have to get artillery down there. If, um, if we're going to play for that long as expansion bases start to creep in slowly but uh, well i think that's enough of uh, defending for now let's go over here are my wall limits set very high uh, no i just want 200 here So oh, that are those are some of the walls and okay these are all the walls happy with that let's get some of most of the landfill back I'll keep 200 on me just in case and let's talk rails so well whenever we're talking rails we need to get an obscene amount of rails in uh, let's get some Wagons too. Uh, stations, definitely. And signals. I think that's basically it. Um, yeah, I'm not extremely thrilled with how this is progressing. I might need to... What's happening here? I might need to take a look at why, well, I kind of know why this is so slow. Um, can we get this working? Without sacrificing too much on all the other sides. So the, the big problem right now, the big shortage is still copper. We have plenty of copper cables, but we don't have green circuits. Why don't we have green circuits? Uh, because of iron. This is low on iron as well. Is iron not working? Iron is fully working here, so there's plenty of iron supplies we just do not have the speed modules okay uh, we will stay with this I will leave this build running for as much as I possibly can although this will need to uh, this will need to go away so um, Just my bots. Do I not have bots left? That was a very small deconstruction. And still they used the... 
the base bots. That's so weird. No, don't use base bots. This is one of the things I was complaining about in earlier episodes and it's always been... I generally don't like to use um, base logistics. I will like to build everything myself and maybe for huge bases that might be something nice, but uh, yeah, for something this small, I want the resources to be on me. Especially when the resources need to need to go between factory floors where I cannot get logistics shared. And ah, that's so annoying. That is extremely annoying. Anyway, uh, let's talk about. Uh, rails. So at the top floor, the only change that we're gonna be researching these ones at some point. Not right now because I still want this build to keep this build going. But what I can do is place a rail incoming over here. What we're gonna have is a rail going on like that and the rail popping out. Uh, we're gonna have a train station here and well, uh, let's talk a bit about how this works. So. I don't know if the description here is um, well, it is accurate enough, but uh, it is exactly what it says here. When a cargo wagon passes, so this is a bit misleading. It's not trains passing over them; it's the actual cargo wagon. So if you have a train stationed, it will not impact the whole train. It will only impact the cargo wagon that is on top of this exact square over here. And what it does is, uh, so there's going to be a rail spawned here. There's also going to be on the factory floor below this, um, four chests that are going to be spawned. When a cargo wagon passes and the chests are set into importing mode, they will load everything up in here. The, the transfer will happen instantaneous. So you basically have a very fast unloading platform and very well concentrated. On the opposite side, as I was mentioning, this is not a full train. Uh, so if I stop the locomotive over here, nothing will happen. If I stop one cargo wagon out of four, it will empty just that one cargo wagon. Which makes the setup for this a bit different than regular builds. because of well because of this per, uh, particular reason where uh, cargo wagons uh, need to pass over and that's how you unload and let's have a quick look over here good thing that i threw away my landfill i need to fill up this lake but not too much because I actually want some of the water here for uh, for what's about to to come. Anyway, let's fill this thing up. I think that this is gonna be good enough. Um, well, actually, first of all, let's build a couple of blueprints. For, for rails. Uh, what size is this? This is 22. Nope. Leave it there. 22. 23. Long. I think that that's good. And this would be the half point. Okay, let's first of all head over here and set up a couple of shortcuts. I think it was somewhere around there. 
And I want to have one, two, three, and... Oh, that was actually, I think, spot on. Perfect. This is this can be rotated, which is really great. Uh, I will not be putting power poles over here. Um, but I do want to check the symmetry point. Okay, so there is a symmetry point. It is over here. And let's go ahead and make make a cross. This should also be fully symmetric. So I'm, I am pressing the R key now. And what I'm expecting to see is exactly what you're seeing here. Nothing changes. The blueprint can freely rotate. And let's go ahead and I'm going to create um, a few blueprints. So this is going to be snap to grid and I will need to adjust the grid. I do want to kind of match this pattern. So let's see. Where's my blueprint? So it should have rails and an X on them. Um, okay, I can do something like this then. Okay, it is not one of these four. I don't have any other blueprint slots reserved. So that means that the blueprint was not created. Maybe. Uh, maybe I did something wrong without realizing. So I did say create blueprint and... Okay, now I can clearly see it. Um... And let's see, I need to adjust the position of the grid a bit. I think I need to go something like minus... I'm just going to eyeball this. I think that the original anchor... Oh, that was actually quite good. Um, the original anchor point is based on the 0, 0 world coordinates. So this needs to be minus 12 and this needs to be 20, 22, I think. Let's see. I was off on the X axis. I need to go in the other direction. So this is a minus eight. Okay, perfect match. And I want to go here. I want to create a copy. Yeah, that blueprint just didn't save, I'm going to guess. I'm not going to go too much into, into rails. I'm just going to do the bare minimum, at least for now. Uh, let's see. A blueprint book. I want to get a blueprint book and I will store this one over here. And they did not create again. Okay, now it created, that's good. So let's get that one. And this one. Also, let's remove this and put... 
a straight line in there. So this should be, at least in theory, perfectly tileable. Let's get the blueprint book out. And I'm gonna do something slightly different than I usually do, but basically this is gonna be one loop. I am going to run dedicated lanes and this is gonna be the iron corner. I could go ahead and create something for parking as well, but well, I'm not gonna. Uh, instead, what I'm gonna do is... Uh, this needs to be a full signal. Uh, I want to see where this ends. So this need to end over, over here. And then this is going to come right here. I will let the pass through over here. And oh, this is the part that I'm not uh, all that um, happy about, let's say. Um, I don't know how exactly how this, how much this needs to scale, but I will do it something like this for now. One more, and obviously it's somehow managed to put it right on top of that signal. So that's going to be that. Uh, I will put a few extra... A few extra uh, signals. Uh, that's, that's not enough. Let's go with that. I should hopefully have... I'll put the signal... Last signal right over here. And I'm gonna uh, name this station. So this is gonna be Iron Ore. It is going to be the... Uh, let's call this Iron Ore Unloading. Let's go with a blue gray bluish color maybe something like that and let's create oh, that's too much copy um, this is not actually going to be unloading anything Okay, uh, I think that's a decent number of um, stations. I really hope I got this build right. And the way this is gonna work, basically, there's gonna this is gonna pop back out. I don't need this bit. The trains are going to pop back out over on this side. There's going to be like a corner bending over here. This is going to be the unload point. So th there is going to be another train station. Let's stop popping. Um, so 
let's put a signal signal over here and then I have that signal over there that's good uh, and I'm gonna put a train station over here uh, just want to copy the color so this is gonna be unload post now that's not what I wanted to do uh, okay just wanted to add a post here. I'll go into how this works as we set down more things. Also, there's... Now, I should have popped in through the other side, and I didn't, but, uh, well... I'm getting there. I'm slowly getting there. Let's get some... Oh, I still have uh, space on me. That's great. And let's go ahead and take this one up to iron. I'm going to be running over that patch, but well. Not that stressed about that right now. now normally, I would be running power poles as well for here. But I don't see the point when we can just play. Oh, I'm actually going past it. Um, and I'm not going past that, but let's see. I want to bring a train station. Maybe over here, maybe over here. Let's come over here. And let's cut out maybe this much. Uh, this is gonna be the sort of the end of the line there. I could uh, do. I could do a junction, a blueprint, but, well, you probably guessed it, I'm not gonna do it. I don't have that many junctions to build, so... Let's see, this is going this way, and this is... Um, yeah, I was like, this looks very weird. What the hell is happening? Wrong lines. Um, I won't do the a full T-shape configuration here, but I will remove these signals and... So I'll allow trains to come up to here. There will be a signal so this is a chain signal this is a chain signal as well that's gonna tie into that one um, this is going to be a chain signal that's gonna tie into the other segment and kind of similar for here chain signal chain signal and chain signal tying into this one so i don't want trains to enter the intersection unless they have a space to go Actually, no, this is... 
Well, if I had the intersection over here, that would be a chain as well. So I'll, I might have to upgrade to a T-shaped intersection. So I will put that one over there as it splits. I will have trains coming from above. I'll never go. Yeah, let's go with this. Uh, one, two, this is well, almost one, two, three, four. This should be enough. I think. Well, actually, as the train's coming through here, I do want to make the parking here and the loading, loading somewhere over here. Let's let's see how. this will look like so loading I'm thinking I'm wondering if this is too close but also I know that this is not gonna be enough room for there is a bit of a space issue over here isn't it yeah, let's let's do it over here. Worst case scenario, I will um, organize the belt somewhat different. So uh, you're gonna be out. This is the out direction. I don't care about having this this line over here. Or this line if I really uh, need in the future to scale I will I will scale um, in a different manner uh, this is way too close let me see this is meant to be over no, 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 that's meant to be over here, and this is meant to be over here. So one step down from this one. Oh, you will tie into this. That looks good now. Clean this bit up. And do a bit of a parking over here. Or stacking, how some people call it. I think parking sounds a bit better. And I need to come... through okay this is like that and this is like this so everything else before this is useless I get a full train. I cannot get a full train past the intersection, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, okay, so the way this is gonna work is there's gonna be a one of those stop lights there. There's gonna be a chain signal over here. Oh, I could, I could actually make this smaller, and I think I will make this uh, slightly smaller. Will this be long enough? One, two, three, four. It could be even a bit smaller, but I think that this is good enough. And the reason why 
I did that was I wanted to I wanted to squeeze in one more one more stop over here one more signal over there and then uh, let's see this one this one is gonna scale up crazy what's happening here uh, oh I see what's happening here uh, that one's good this one needs to be just a bit uh, like this still enough room for four cargo wagons still enough room I want to see if I can copy the whole thing. Yeah, this looks good. So I don't think I'll run into anything at any point soon here. Uh, the train station is however going to be the other way around so this is the outbound this is inbound uh, train station over here and this is gonna be iron ore loading great and again, I will have some duplicates for that one. But um, I think that we're getting pretty close to time on this episode. Uh, well, we're actually a, quite a bit over time for this episode. I will do the loading here and talk a bit about how these lanes are going to come into here and then um, We'll, we'll try to test up the setup. I might uh, decommission a few of these um, a, f a few of these oil refineries and uh, yeah, try to try to test out our build. But uh, until the next episode, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you here next time.